Hello YouTubers, um, today we're going to be talking about XML and uh, mostly we will be using Visual Studio to manipulate the XML file. So what is in this intro? Um, we're going to learn um, a little bit about the XML file itself, how it's structured and whatnot. And then uh, I'm going to jump into a demo reading the XML file using some .NET um, objects including the X document, X element, XML reader, and the data set. I'm also going to show you how to query data out of the XML um, using linked XML and XPath, and also how to write back to the XML file using X document, X element, X writer, and the data set. Um, I think we should also cover how to um, update and delete um, elements and the data in the XML file, and so if the demo goes well, we'll definitely uh, we will definitely be doing that. So let's uh, do a little bit of theory really quick. So what is an XML document? XML stands for Extensible Markup Language, and it was designed to store and transport data. It is um, uh, an XML um, has markup language inside, but it's not predefined like. Uh, in an HTML document, um, you don't have tags such as the body header, um, a p tag, and, and a paragraph tag, and whatnot. The user is the one defining the tags in an XML document. So here's a quick example of an XML document, um, and uh, we will um, jump in uh, the definition. Each one of the tags. Uh, the first line is the declaration. Of, of the document and then you have a root element and you have other elements. Um, these are all nodes so you have a root, a parent and uh, child nodes in here. Um, I'll jump in more details um, in the slides ahead. So here are the parts of the XML. Um, and the first line is the declaration like I just said before it defines that this um, the XML version of this particular document is 1.0 and the encoding used is UTF-8. The next line is the root element, and every document uh, must contain the root um, element. And what it means, it means that this document contains employees. Um, and uh, the next tag, this one, is the employee, and is a, it's a child element to the root, but it's a parent element on its own because it's, it has children under it. And so this XML document, this XML document will hold employees, and here is a definition of a single employee. This employee has uh, an ID, a first name, a last name, and the data um, contained for each one of these elements is within the greater than and lesser than sign. So in this case, the employee has an ID of one, has a first name of John, and has a last name of Smith. Um, every node, including uh, includes a closing tag, as you can see, even the parent, and uh, it's very self-descriptive. Um, it doesn't take a lot, you know, to see that this is um, an XML document that contains data about employees. Okay, so what is, I'll look at that quick demo, not yet. So what is an XML used for? Uh, an XML is used to store data, like I mentioned before, and is uh, mostly used for small data sets instead of a database. So if you're doing a quick demo, um, you could definitely use an XML file instead of light up a new database and things like that. It's uh, very easy to transport data, um, and it can it, it, you can easily transport data not only from um, applications within the same domain, um, uh, or within the same solution, let's say, but you could also exchange you can exchange data with completely completely different systems. You could exchange data between a PC and a Mac and a PC and a Linux and and whatnot. Um, you can also use an XML file to cache data locally. So instead of repeatedly going to a server somewhere out there or to the database um, to get data that doesn't change very often, you could just cache that information to an XML file and have the app read the XML file instead of making a database call. So you could use in combination with the database, not the XML file itself, but in combination with the database. And it's, you know, XML files is, are, are widely used for configuration files such as, you know, uh, the web config file and the app config file. 
Um, it can also use for mobile applications uh, to, um, in a way, cache data locally or just to store data until the user has availability to get out to the web, you know, uh, via cell phone tower or via Wi-Fi. And um, that was it. Let's go ahead and jump in a quick demo so we can see how to uh, create an XML file manually and how to read data out of it. Um, subscribe. If you, if you have watched my previous videos, please subscribe to my channel uh, so you can stay you can stay tuned for new videos that come up um, I am trying to make videos uh, as often as possible uh, but uh, it, it becomes difficult because of work and other things but um, stay tuned subscribe and if you like the video uh, please hit the like button thank you for watching watch the next video